All right, so out here in Illinois, it tends to get pretty cold in the winter. And you know, when you have a car with a whole bunch of frost on it, you don't really like to get into a freezing cold car. So to do that, you kind of want to go and start your car up, just, you know, to warm it up. My car, you might have known as a Chevy Blazer, it doesn't have remote start. So what I end up doing is I take the key off the key off the carabiner, start the car, and then I use the remote to lock and unlock it so no one steals my car. Smart thinking, right? Well, it's only smart until the remote breaks. And as it turns out, yeah, the battery socket is like completely desoldered from the remote and it doesn't work anymore. We're not only gonna fix the remote, we're also gonna get this key copied. That way I can unlock the car if the remote ever does die. So the first things to do, I think we're gonna go ahead and get this key copied. Blazers, the keys are chips. You can just replicate a key and it'll like turn your car on. So with our new key that has been copied and has been proven to work, we can now start working on the remote, which has been proven not to work. This is why I keep all my keys on a carabiner. Because you can take them all off when you need to do stuff like service. And with that, we have concluded that not only our key fob works, but that our duplicated key also works. And with that out of the way, I guess it's time to end this video. So, everything I have shown here will be in the link down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you didn't like this video, well, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more Tacked Episodes or Episodes of Noobs Create or other random videos in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And you might as well hit the bell because, well, we don't really know what that does. It just does something. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm done with this project and I am moving on to the next. And I'll see you then.